My name is Vic Barry, welcome to the channel. If you're like me, you're probably been digging the book of Boba Fett on Disney Plus. First episode in, I'm loving it. And there's a very cool kind of color grading trick that's going on that shows some of the flashback sequences when Boba Fett was kind of friendly with the sand people. Now this is a great thing that you can actually incorporate into your own filming techniques. And it's something that kind of really helps kind of distinguish what's a flashback and what's not. And depending on the software, I think it's gonna work in nearly any software that's out there. We're in Premiere Pro and I've broken this down into three adjustment layers. And I'm gonna take you guys through each one. And there's kind of a little bit of secret sauce to one of these here as well, but I'll get to that in a sec. So the first off is the adjustment layer that's gonna do the color grade. That's kind of gonna be, if you look at the clip, it's kind of on the outside, it's kind of greeny and a little bit faded. Then there's a vignette over that, which is kind of darkening parts of the image and it's kind of focusing into the center. Now we can do a vignette in Lumetri, but no, we're not gonna do it that way. We're gonna do it in a way that gives you complete control and then finally, the secret sauce of all of this to make this work is noise. And I'm not talking about any digital noise here. There's a special noise within Premiere Pro that you guys can use. And it makes a big, big difference. So let's get in and start in a grade. I'm using like something with sand in it, similar-ish to what I could get for the Book of Boba Fett. But you, the techniques here work the exact same. So first one here is I'm going to select the uh, new item. I'm going to select adjustment layer. And whatever your resolution is here, make sure it's the same. And I'm gonna drag this over. Now, I forgot to rename it, but we can rename it here simply by selecting right click and rename. And I'm gonna call this the grade. So this is the color that we're gonna give it. I'm gonna do another one. And I'm gonna call this one the vignette. And then the final one is gonna be the noise. So it's really, really important to do these as they are. So call them what they should be. Otherwise you could get them the whole heap of confusion. I'm gonna turn off all of these. So I'm gonna turn them all off by selecting the little uh, eye icon here. And I'm just gonna start on the grade. Now, this doesn't have to be difficult. Just make sure you're in Lumetri. If you're not seeing Lumetri here, then go to window and make sure Lumetri color is ticked. I'm gonna go in here and we're gonna go on the grade. So if you look at the Book of Boba Fett, it's a little bit overexposed, so it's a little bit bright. So we're gonna bring up our exposure just a tad, up to about 1.5. Now, depending on the footage you have, it could be different for you. Gonna bring down our highlights, gonna bring up our shadows a little bit, and then we're gonna go into the curves. Now, just as we're going into the curves here, we can see there's kind of greens and blues in the yellow. So what we're gonna do is change these to green and blue. So I'm gonna go down to the hue here. I'm gonna select the little eyedropper tool. I'm gonna to select the sand color. And I'm gonna kind of push it either green or blue, depending on what you want to do. So I think I'm just gonna go with a bit more of a greeny here. And then we can select the eyedropper for the saturation and we can bring that up a little bit more. We can desaturate it depending on what you're trying to achieve. And then if we scroll back up here in the basic correction, we're going to make this a little bit more blue, jump back into our curves, select the blues up here, scroll across, and then we're just gonna make things a little bit more blue so we can see the before and after. Now, that doesn't look like much yet, and you're like, but Vic, it's doing the whole thing. There's a little bit of a secret sauce trick coming in here as well, which you're gonna find really, really useful. So once we get our kind of our grade down the way that we want, what we're gonna do is jump into effect controls and then on Lumetri color, if we wish, or we can actually do it here on opacity, let's select ellipse mask. So we can see, ah, okay. So I'm gonna drag this out and I'm gonna put it whatever way I want. And this gives you complete control here and you can add more points to it if you wish. But this gives you complete control over where those colors are going to be. So we want it on the outside of the picture. So all we gotta do is select invert. Now, if we kind of look here, you're like, okay, that kind of looks good, but it's very harsh, it's very sharp. Then if we go to feather, we can blur it out a little bit. And as you can see, it's now blending in a lot better. Next step up here, if we want to do the expansion, we can expand it. But for now, I'm leaving as is. So for me, that's the grade kind of there in one sense. Now the next step here, I'm just gonna turn off the grade. I'm gonna bring on the vignette. And then we're gonna to get to the real magic, which brings all of this together. And that's the noise. And it's not just standard noise either. So let's do this really quickly. Let's go to our grade. Let's go to our opacity here. Control and C or Command C if you're on the Mac. Copy that and let's copy the exact same kind of vignette that we set in there. 
and as we can see now we're in pretty good shape so what i want to do here with this one is go up to lumetri let's go to basic correction let's bring this down so we can see now we're giving you guys a kind of a really extreme example here of how that vignette is looking so i'm just going to bring it up and again do it whatever your style is so for me here we go and as we can see the before and after now as we're stacking these up and if we put the grade on as well you guys can get a better idea of what's actually happening so vignette here's our controls let's bring it down Maybe let's bring it down another little bit to make it really Boba Fett E. That's Star Wars fans will have my head for that. Boba Fett E. <laughs> Boba Fett esque. Fett esque. Alrighty. And then now here's the final one, right? And this is a pretty heavy going effect. So you gotta turn off everything here before you get into the actual noise. So I'm gonna turn off all of these just with the eye icon. And then we're gonna get into the noise. Now you could say, oh, just drop in some noise and go for it. No, because you have to animate the noise, which is a pain in the butt. So what I want you to do is go up to the search box, search for noise, and we see noise HLS auto. Now, this is where the real secret sauce comes in because, because you can adjust the hue, the lightness, or the saturation with noise, not just everything. So what we want to do is go for the actual lightness. So I'm going to go extreme here. Let's go with 25. Depending on your computer, it's going to take a little bit of time to render out that frame here. On our noise, let's make it grain because we want that film grain. And then we can change the grain size from one, eight. Let me just make this a little bit bigger here so you guys can see. So that's a little bit more kind of what was in the book of Boba Fett. It's a really kind of pronounced noise. So I'm going to bring this down to maybe four. Let's bring this up again. And then our noise animation speed, you can change that to whatever you want. So we're just affecting the lightness here, nothing else. So let's see how this renders back. So now you're thinking, okay, we're, we're in business. That's kind of really similar to the clip. Now it might be a little bit too much and I've got a trick for that in a sec. So if we're happy with what this is like, let's bring all of this on. And again, it's going to take a little second or two here to render out because there's a lot of intensity going on here, including that noise. So we can now see what we've got going on. And for me, the, the vignette is probably a bit too much. So what we can do really quickly is go to the opacity and let's bring it down to 50. And as you can see, that's already after making a huge difference. Now let's bring it up again, 75. And that's the key with all of these working individually, you can actually change the opacity of how clear the whole thing is. So if the noise is a little bit too much, but you like how it looks, you can drop down the opacity. So I'm gonna bring down the opacity here of the noise to about 75. And there you go. See, it's pretty much on point now, but what happens if you wanna fade out all of these effects just like they do in the Book of Boba Fett and it all comes into the actual scene itself. And remember, we're transitioning kind of from a flashback in, into something that's a bit more solid of a flashback, if that makes any sense to nobody, which I'm sure it doesn't. I don't, that even makes sense to me. So what we need to do is the thing here, which is painful, is that adjustment layers, and I've been doing this for a while, they always fade to black. So you don't want to fade to black, you just want to fade these effects off. So we can fade them wherever we want. I'm just going to drag a few of these back here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab one of the other adjustment layers there that have absolutely zero effects on it. I'm going to drag those out. And I'm just going to duplicate it a couple of times by keeping Alt and presses and dragging it. And that's it. So we have these which are completely blank. There is nothing in them and you can just double check all of that simply by going to effect controls and so on and so forth. Click the little cut between the two. And now what's it going to do? It's going to fade between the actual noise and the vignette and the grain and all of that stuff that we put on, including the color grade, back to the actual clip that it should be. See how easy was that? Three adjustment layers, boom, you're replicating those flashback scenes from the book of Boba Fett really, really easily. I'll see you in the next video. And then give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Hit the like button. And yeah, as we always say, don't stop fighting for yourself. <coughs> Turn it off. Oh, episode two real soon. <coughs> gotta, gotta hit it like with a... <coughs> uh, did I break something?